All right, Resident Evil. I don't know why I keep trying to say Resident Evil 5 when the guy says it for me. Let's go. Uh, let's go. Hell yeah, everyone's favorite level. I'm pretty certain I, uh, did I upgrade before this? No, I didn't. Um, 10,000 for the upgrade for the shotgun now. I mean, there's no harm in upgrading the reload speed. How much is the reload speed for this? Is it a thousand? Three thousand. Eight thousand for more firepower. Um, I might just save up and just try and boost the hand, the uh, the magnum at this point, because what I've got on me at the moment seems to be killing everything anyway. So I don't really need to build anything else at this point. Twelve thousand for more piercing for. I could boost the damage of the machine gun. I'm not really using it, but more damage is more damage. Yeah, I'll just boost it by one. I'll do. Just for the sake of doing it. Chapter 6 1 Ship Death. I'm not gonna snipe the, uh. I'm not sniping the emblem. Should be finishing this game today. This ship is huge. Sure is. We kind of need to. You think they're planning to use it to spread Uluburos? No. Using a ship like this would give away the position too soon. We must have another. Thing. Anybody else we can snipe from here? Because uh, getting rid of these people now saves a lot of time later. That's another dude. Oh, hey. Oh, we clearly angered them, so... You're fine. Come on, guys. Down you go. Nice. Good. Oh, you're one of these? Okay. There we go, that saved a bit of time. The more you can just kind of snipe from here, the better. So I'll probably be doing even more sniping in a second. Take that. Grab this as well. Okay. You're gonna use it. Okay. Set sail for adventure. Yeah, Resident Evil 5 always tries to do like a boat level or a boat game. Revelations is I like Revelations. It's pretty bang average though, but I do like it. It's a game where it's like, eh, I'll do it again. And I will. That's, it's, got, it's got a pretty good boat design. It's just something kind of off about the combat. Oh, hey. Can you turn around, please? Oh, God. Hang on.
Oh, you. Of course you are. Really? How fucking invincible is this guy? You're fine. Thank you. Maybe if I get higher, I can spot some other people. Nah, if there's any more dogs or anything to later on. Alright, let's just go. Oh, it's you. You're the reason why the music's still playing. Hey! Guys, uh, get out of here, you. Is, that, is there a dog still around? I feel like there is. I can hear. I can hear a dog. Oh, there it is. How the hell did you get up there? That is very strange. I don't understand why this dog is here. Hey, drop down. I'll grab that. Sorry, Shev Shever. Finders, keepers, losers, weepers. Alright, let's keep going. Oh, you're this asshole. You know, a flash grenade would go a long way right about now. Cool. Very cool. Ow, my face! He really just didn't give a shit, did he? Are you okay? I'd rather fight the Reapers than these motherfuckers. Because this dude is just super annoying. Look at him, he's still alive. I feel like I've shot him a lot at this point. Uh, this is very annoying. I do, but unfortunately we're dealing with something that has infinity health, so... 
What else can you do? Missed. Rad. Very cool. Like the whole thing has just come to a grinding halt. That's, oh, that's a fucking flash grenade. Come on. Okay. Hey. And again. I no, I need this. That's annoying. That is annoying to find right there and then. Hey. Fucko, where are you? Oh, that aggravates me. You grab it. Okay. Are you okay? All right. Just wasted a load of ammo when I could just kill them in a hit. Very, very cool. Sorry, Shev, but this ammo is mine. Ah, now we're getting to the fun part. Come on, Roger. I pressed the wrong button. Come on, come on, come on! It's locked. I need a key card to open it. Interesting. Let me go grab a key card then. Like how we do it. I think we can do this in peace because I uh I killed the guy who operates the crane. Uh no wait, hang on. I, pr I think you can kill this guy before this happens. Okay. Very cool. Alright, he's dead. Alright, that roll dead. Come on. Alright, he's... Oh, for God's sakes! Excuse me, gamer. Uh. Oh, are you serious? I saw a flash grenade here. Fuck my entire life. Well, now I wish I did keep the flash that flash grenade from before for this part. Eh? I just like the fact that. Well, that's it. You can't. You're stuck in a cage. Okay, so I'm just going to grab a flash grenade from my inventory because I guess this chapter is dedicated to these guys now. Very cool. Literal bullet sponges. Uh, here you go. If only I could just, like, remove one. Uh, it, it take me down to one. One would be enough. Um. Can I not buy grenades? Oh, it's crazy. Okay, well, I'm gonna just, like... I'm just gonna, like, Sheva jump in there. Grab it. 
Again, though, I can't help but feel like I can shoot this guy before he drops the cage. But I guess I need a better shot from than from where I'm at. Go on, Shadow. Get down there. Right, he's dead. Come on. Come on. You fuck. How about that? Yeah, look at how much easier it is. And you had to kill him, yeah. Picked up the crane key card. We need to move this container. There should be a crane or something nearby. I'm on it. Oh right, yeah, it wants me to shoot it. Well yeah. Just checking there's nobody else. Hey. <laughs> Nothing more satisfying than that. I'm so glad that doesn't hurt you as well. It's crazy that they just gave these guys, like, grenades on their shirt so you can just one-shot them. Okay, so kill the dogs before I open the thing. Got it. Or kill this dog at the very least. How, how did you get hurt? Can I even hit this? Oh, man. That was a waste. I'll just open it up. But I probably need to get down there very quickly once I open it. Hey, man. Just, uh... Yeah, just let it happen. I guess she got hit by uh, the dog doing that tentacle thing, but she needs to get the fuck out of there. Okay, there is a second dog. I made a bridge. You know, I'd break my legs if I did that jump. I'm on route, I'm on route. Oh, did the fucking handgun ammo disappear? Oh, look at that, some hang on ammo. Come on, Roger. You grab it. Roger. Don't be right. oh, she's using it for herself, that's fine. I've got a lot of full heals in the ye old tankerino, so... Okay, that must be where I am going. What's this way, then? Oh, a save! Very nice. I'll take that gold. Oh, hey. Did you just try and, like, body slam me? All oh, right, yeah, there's two of you. Hang on. Oh, I don't want you down there, you fuck. Yeah, 
You know when you keep hitting the wrong fucking body part? Are you, okay? you picked up a first aid spray at some point? When did that happen? See, that's my issue. I want to get down there now. And I kind of can't. Oh no, he's come up here. Perfect. Look at that free hit combo he's got. Oh, actually, I need you to, like, come over here so that you don't fall off the edge. Perfect. Alright, that, that worked out in the end. It was kind of a bit weird, but we got there. Give me that sweet, sweet ammo. Uh, yes. I need ammo. Oh, you're right, you do. Oh, you. Uh, uh, I can't give her the gun. Oh my god, I have to hand her my handgun ammo. There are a couple boxes there. Maybe she might get some if I do this. Open the boxes and find ammo. I need ammo. Are you serious? Alright then. Come on. Get over here, because apparently I need to give you all of my ammo because you're because you don't know what you're doing. God, I wish I could just I wish I could just give a really specific amount of ammo. That would be amazing. Okay. Where is she? What the, what are you doing? There we go. Okay. You know, if she had opened up a box, she probably would have got the ammo she was craving. Oh well. Ugh. I'm not going for those boxes, because that just requires me to go around in a big circle again. Hey! Well, oh, that killed him in a hit. Hell yeah. Take that. Alright, let me go back this way because she's definitely not opened these boxes. Need you to look at me. There we go. Sweet, sweet cash. And now we've done the uh, we've done the boat deck, I believe. More shotgun shells earlier. Excuse me. I'm cutting them up. Herbs are for losers. I'm a winner. Shepard, you have plenty of ammo. I need the ammo because you took mine! D 
Did I did I need to do that? Or could I have just gone around in a big circle and then done it that way instead? Hmm. Things that make you wonder. Alright, what have we got? This is mine and that's yours. You can take that as well. It's like we've got a bit of a reprieve here. Love the conversation. Tanker is so big. It won't be easy finding Wesker. That won't be a problem. Once he knows we're here, he'll find us. And how do you know that? Let's just say we have a history together, and he's not the type to let grudges go. Hmm. You must have done something to really piss him off. And it goes a bit beyond just pissing him off. So, are you going to tell me what happened? Maybe. But not until after we put an end to all this. Deal? Okay, but I'm holding you to that. So Wesker trapped us in a really crazy mansion that was just literally full of death traps and for absolutely no reason other than to get his invaluable combat data. And then he went after my sister. And then he beat me in a fight, so I bulked so in response I bulked out. Take it. Okay. I need that. Thanks. I'm not going to use it, but... I do need it, so if I get a checkpoint, I'll uh, get rid of it. Excella! What's going on here? Nothing that concerns either of you. We're not giving you an option. Now spit it out. Tell us what we want to know and you won't get hurt. Where's Wesker? If you can behave yourselves, maybe I'll tell you. Damn it! She's tough. I'll give her that much. What's this? Chris, is this... Whatever it is, Excella seemed protective of it. Oh, we have to read the document soon. Hell yeah. You grab it. Okay. The power's on, but it's not working. It must have a lock on it. This one on the other hand. Tricell. Tricell researching Miguel's journal number two. May the 8th. Our current aim is to develop a virus that surpasses the potential of both the G virus and the T Veronica virus. We need to eliminate extreme mutations, mental atrophy, and instability in the virus. We were told not to be concerned with, the, with retention and rejection rates, but even still, overcoming these three problems is going to be a challenge. Of course, all that is really all, only a problem for reg. Uh, sorry. Of course, all that is really only a problem for regular researchers. I'm already on the cusp of overcoming two of the problems. The third is proving to be a bit trickier, so I may have to resort to some alternative methods. Sometimes I frighten myself with my own ingenuity. Tricell is fortunate to have someone of my intelligence on their payroll. Okay. You grab it. Okay. You grab that too. She's probably going to combine them. I think she's got one already. There. Come on. Okay. Take it. Okay. Yeah, I kind of need a... I actually do feel as if I need a checkpoint now. Damn. I think we've got JJ's coming up. We've got a lot... We've got a lot of assholes in this room.
Oh, hey, there you are. Ah! Oh! I don't know whether you can actually do this stealthily. Gotta get rid of this guy. Do not turn into something else. Thank you. Where's the final person? My god, my handgun is insane. Take it. I'm okay. kind of tempted to get those handgun bullets from a boat. I, I, this is this is a great piece of music. This dun 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 dun. dun. Oh, there's an asshole in there. Yeah, I remember this. Oh, maybe there's an asshole above me. Got him. It was him. Ooh, there's another guy. Maybe it might make more sense for me just to climb back up. Oh, I can't. That's the uh, that's my issue here. I can't get back up. Guy being behind there is very annoying. You grab it. Okay. Yeah, you see, we want to get this specific douchebag first. All right, he's gone. Okay, this guy is—is is he coming around? No, he's still there. Okay, I didn't mean to do that. Alright. Hey, if you can believe it, this room never ends. But we need to get rid of all of these people because, uh... Is he actually dead? Yes. Nice. That guy being up there is very annoying. I think that's everyone? That's everyone down here. Except this guy. Get out of here! Nope. We've got a spray and prayer here. BAM! Okay, I think we're good to go at this point. Nope. He's dead. He died in a hit. 
Oh, I'm going down. Alright, seven hits with the handgun. Get out of there, you fuck. I have flash grenades. I think one of these dudes is... This guy, maybe? I don't know. I did think somebody down here was a bit of an asshole. But I can't help but feel like... Sheva, you need to... Sheva, please don't stand out in the open. There it is. Oh no! I don't have the fucking flash grenades on me! Give her anything either. I'm gonna. I might have to take a death just so that I can actually get past this one guy. That is rough. I've just cleared out this entire room as well, but uh, see, because I wish I could just discard that right now, because I think that would solve my problem. Maybe if I. Hey. Can we not exchange? God, this is rough. Uh, alright, I've got a real shitty solution to this, but unfortunately, it's the way it has to be. Give me a grenade. Okay. Yep, I had a feeling you were there. Hey! I wanted them, you bitch! Thanks. You... Ah! I didn't kill that for you. I guess I'll take the machine gun ammo. I don't even need it. Here you go. You owe me handgun bullets. Hand them over. Uh, who's ready for a big fight? Ooh, incendiaries. Or do I want the proximity mine? I think I probably want these. I only have two bullets for my rifle as well. Well, that's because she's got them. And now I regret... Oh, I can exchange! I can exchange now! Okay, whatever. Give me, uh... Give me, give me these. Uh, oh, that is weird! So you can exchange it for the ammo, but you can't exchange it back. I never noticed that. That's so odd. Oh, why? Why wouldn't you why wouldn't you just set it so you can exchange anything? Okay, well I lost my incendiaries already then because she handed over all the rifle ammo when I didn't need it. Cool. Very nice. Well, I really wish I wasn't carrying around this shotgun, but needs must.
God, he's still alive. Thanks. Really? Fuck you. Ow, my face. Man, this dude just doesn't want to die, does he? And in the end, it was the machine gun that killed him. Tanker Kikade. Oh, she's collecting the proximity lines. That's very nice. <laughs> I want it. Um. God, we just need a. We need to just. I need to. I need to just get a checkpoint and then checkpoint out just so I can change my weapons. I need to get rid of this second shotgun that I'm carrying around because it's fucking useless. Oh, look at all this I can't carry. I can't swap anything out or get rid of the... Uh... Oh, that's tank of key card B. I can't do anything! I don't particularly trust that checkpoint, but I really need to get rid of some of this stuff, so... Get out of here. You are annoying. You are in the way. Exactly what I wanted. Hell yeah. You grab it. Okay. I'm pretty certain restarting for a checkpoint counts as a death, though. I'm not 100 percent on that. You need to be really? You used it now. Alright, let's go. Yeah. Yep. Uh, thanks. I can't see. Really? Fuck off. Sit down. Finally, I got handgun ammo. Where's the third one? Oh, there you are. You are a regular guy, so I should just be able to blow your head off, hopefully. Maybe. Much better. Shevo, you're not getting any ammo ever again. 
until the final fight, where I probably will need to give you at least something. Take it. Okay. Grab that. Ooh. A treasure. A treasure. Chris, why do you keep picking up all the treasures? Ooh, gold. All right, well, that was a crazy room. Is Exceller in this chapter? Is the Exceller fight in this chapter? I think so. I think it's coming. So, you've made it this far. Too bad you won't make it much further. Ooh. One survived. You. Are you saying I was manufactured? I was to become a god. <laughs> Creating a new world with an advanced race of human beings. However, all was lost in Raccoon City. Creation still holds great significance. <laughs> now my candle burns dimly. Uh, ironic, isn't it? For one who has the right to be a god. To face his own mortality. Even until the end, only one truly capable of being a god deserves that right. I'm going to work with Doctor Doom. I don't know, Wesker. Maybe a little bit more testing before you go crazy. Yeah, I think that. Yeah. Oh wait, no, 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 no. It didn't because I uh, died to the um to the thing that ate me. Okay, that's good to know. Uh, uh. Yeah, this is fine. Get rid of that again. You don't need that. Get rid of that. Uh, did I get any treasures? I did. Sell them all. Thank you. Main deck. This is excellent. Sorry, Wesker, but not on my watch! Albert! 
I don't think it's right this second, but we definitely need to run. I actually feel like this chapter's really short. Time, let's go. Gotta go. Imagine switching off quick time events when that's the game. Come on. Alright, let's go. Persistent son of a bitch. So now what? You think our weapons can hurt that thing? I don't know. We gotta get the hell out of here before it destroys this place. Uh you take that. Okay. You can destroy you can destroy those arms. I just can't remember how many you can definitely do it with the rocket launch with no fucking issues. There's the chalice. The most brutal present of all. Nothing. Take it. Okay. I don't think I need that, but I could be wrong. What if it might be easier for a? Uh... I wonder if Sheva can use the laser. I wonder if it might be easier if she just does it. Well, it keeps trying to take us out. It's not. It's hard not to see. Take it, Roger. Grab that. You probably mix the two. Yeah, I think if I get rid of that, um, there's something at the end of the hall. But again, it's a lot easier to get to in that hall with the rocket launcher. I am convinced that every single one of these are alive. Well, we got one of them.
What are you? I don't know what you are. I'm running. Oh, you're that fucking guy. Come on. Guess who doesn't have any fucking flash grenades again? I don't. I need a fucking flash grenade. You know what? Okay, cool. Block my path. That's rad. I'm just going to leave this guy. I Come on! Bye. I'm just, I'm just going to go. Oh god, he's going to have a key card, isn't he? Stop using things! Really? We're not going to close the door? He has a key card. Of course you do. You can't just let me have this, can you? Man. Wow. You know what? Fuck this. Give me a fucking flash grenade. Persistent son of a bitch. So now what? They're the most annoying enemies in the game. I don't know. We gotta get the hell out of here before it destroys this place. Okay. Take it. Okay. It's tearing through the ship. We can't stay here. Yeah, we can. We can do whatever we want. That's the beauty. Okay. All right. Take two. Much better. You grab it. Roger. Thanks, partner. Yeah, that's fine. You grab it. Okay. Bridge key card. Report on Project W, August 28th, 1998. It has been confirmed that the accident at the Raccoon City Arclay Research Facility was due to the involvement of Project W test subject number 013, hereafter referred to as Albert. His death in the accident has made obtaining any further information an impossibility. Albert's death was confirmed by the information department. Albert's death puts the current success rate of Project W down to 18%. The quota of qualified individuals for the project has been drastically reduced and must be addressed immediately. This poses a grave situation for any progress that can hope to be made in the project. Since there is no roster of qualified individuals to replace the recent losses, it will be advisable to start selecting individuals from the pool of failed candidates. After this, adjustments can be made that will restore up to 93% of the quota prior to Albert's death. Umbrella Information Department, Alex W. 
Okay, that's the check from uh, Revelations 2. Spencer's notebook. I just received word that Raccoon City has been wiped out. The Americans finally took action against us. I hope the irony of using the very military machine that was supposed to protect them from foreign attackers to kill their own people is not lost on them. While the danger posed by the threat of the sea virus spreading was very real, I don't think Americans will easily forgive their government for the deaths of over 100,000 of their own people. If the truth of this matter is ever brought to light, support for the current administration will plummet. I don't think he wants that. Even a child can see that they will come after Umbrella with everything they have. To hide their own foolish mistakes, they will blame Umbrella for Raccoon City's annihilation. It would seem Umbrella will share Raccoon City's fate, but perhaps it will be to a lesser degree. Umbrella was nothing but a tool for the research of the progenitor virus. Even without that tool, the research still survives. Only Umbrella's lowly employees will be hurt by its dissolution. If the secret research involving the progenitor virus is protected, then they can always rebuild anew. I've already made preparations for such a plan. The research facility in Africa remains a secret, and it is there that the progenitor virus is produced, something that we didn't achieve until the late 80s. Only a handful of people in the company are even aware of the African facility's existence thanks to our strict regulation of the flow of information. Only a minimum amount of personnel were ever transferred from Africa to other locations, and they were always closely monitored. Director Bailey has been confined to the African facility for almost 30 years, and even that has all been for this day. All that remains is to close that facility and everything will go according to my plan. Once that facility is gone, all its connections to Umbrella will disappear with it. Then I will have to deal with anyone who has a level 10 security clearance as they are the only ones who know of the African facility's existence. Everyone else will be summarily disposed of. My secrets will be protected. When one buries a treasure, one should not leave behind a map. A printout is stuck inside the notebook. Personnel with access to company secrets. Level 10. Oswell S. Deceased. Henning P. Imprisoned. Masaki T. Deceased. Jenny K. Whereabouts unknown. Carlos M. Found. Information obtained. Eliminated. Level 9. Brandon B. Deceased. Frank E. Deceased. Isabella C. Deceased. Greg A. Deceased. Lee D. Deceased. Michael K. Deceased. Ethan... Ethan Winter is deceased? No! How could this be? Also, that's a setup for Resident Evil 6 when you think about it. Resident Evil 6 is essentially all about that first page. They want to hide the secrets of what happened to Raccoon City. That's the plot of Raccoon... That's the plot of Resident Evil 6. In a way. Uh, where's the where's the chair that I can sit on? Don't do it. That's mine. It's not for you. Just said investigate. All the controls seem to be in working order, but it won't let me operate them. Oh, maybe I need to, um... Is it in the next chapter where I can sit in this chair? I can sit in a chair, damn it. I know, I know that it's in here. It's locked. I can't operate it. This thing is gigantic. We have to take it out before it destroys the ship. Yeah, this is building up to the big fight. As is tradition. <sighs> well, here we go. Wait, no, hang on. I saw that. Satellite Laser Shango Operating Manual. The Shango Satellite Laser is operated by using a rocket launcher style laser targeting device, LTD, that sends targeting coordinates to the satellite. The satellite is then capable of firing a highly concentrated laser to within centimeters of the target. Operation procedures Number 1. Aim the LTD at the target to relay the coordinates to the satellite. Number 2. Once the target has been ascertained, the coordinates will be relayed. During the transmission, the target ring will appear red on the targeting scope. Note, if the targeting sensor's AI perceives that the target is no longer being tracked by the targeting scope, transmission of the coordinates will be cancelled. Number 3. When lock-on appears in the scope, it means the transmission has been successfully sent. Pulling the trigger will activate the laser. 4. The firing cannon must be given time to recharge before it can be refired. We just might have a chance. Do you actually want to get around on the roof. Come on, there's no time to lose. How am I... What?
All right, let's go. Um, actually, before this happens, I'll be back in two seconds. Go kill Excella, maybe. Sheva should be fine, because she'll... I'm gonna just uh, go to the checkpoint. <laughs> I just saw what's in the inventory. Yeah, you need to not have this stuff. This stuff is bad. Get out. Get this stuff out of here. Keep these on you, because I'll need healing. Get rid of that. All right. You still got shotgun shells, but that's fine. I'll take that. I'll take the incendiary. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. Let me just uh, climb up here real quick. I think... Do I have to go up here first? No. I do not have to go up there first. I deserve that.
Shame I had a fuck you run out of ammo already. That's an insta kill. Come on. Alright, Shiver. Since you don't know how to pick up ammo. I'm kind of annoyed that she isn't using her knife, because that would go a long way. But for some reason, even though there's enemies on the platform, she really doesn't want to use that knife, does she? I don't need these incendiaries. Let's get this. That thing is huge. Do you really think we can kill it? Yep, come on. It's all on you, Chris. I've got your back. Sure is. Are you okay? Yeah, sure. Are you seriously? Oh my god. Considering that I saw that coming, it was kind of silly me just to stand there. Oh my god. I'm not in the best standing position there, am I? Really?
But you stop fucking moving. This is annoying because it keeps hiding and disconnecting my uh, thing. There we go, thank God. She can't pick up anything. Hold on. Oh, it's the wrong. Oh, I'm fucking counted. Hold on. Oh my god. Come on. Alright, that's one. Wish it didn't say exchange and just you. It's not what I wanted, but hang on. That might reset its attack pattern to be fair. Nope. I've got to be like right on the edge for this one fucking guy. He's the worst. Just use my uh, level 3 ult, or level 3 hyper, to kill that. Got an S-ranked as well, hell yeah. I think we're on the final level now. Right, I don't know why you picked up flame rounds, get them out of your inventory right now. I am taking these. Still not entirely sure why I'm carrying the machine gun still, but whatever. Uh, I should just let Sheva have the machine gun. <laughs> because we get a lot, we get a lot of bullets for the machine gun. Look at this. You know what, Sheva? It's it's your lucky day. I'm finally going to give you the machine gun. Let's see what you do with it. Uh, uh, I will take the Magnum. Actually, do we need the do we need the Magnum on me right now? Probably not.
Alright, let's see how this goes. So that's Uroboros. I fear for the world if that ever gets out. God damn it, Wesker. He's actually serious about destroying the entire planet. That's because he's crazy. Chris, he's crazy. But he's also really cool. Alright, back in. I'm pretty certain this is the final chapter. Oh, is it the... No, it's not the it's not the Wesker fight. It's not the first Wesker fight. Yeah, that's coming. The second Wesker fight, even. Chris, you can't just make puns. Obama equipped with missiles. He can't fly around in that without getting shot down. Oh god. Exactly. The plane can't get shot down. If it does, we will initiate a biohazard. It's just like Jill said. He's planning to spread this virus worldwide. Looks that way. Things are worse than I thought. We have to stop him here and now. He said the name of the game. He said Biohazard. Ouroboros Plan. The Ouroboros virus will have a direct and substantial impact on human DNA. Those who possess inferior genes will find exposure to the virus fatal. Most of those infected will be unable to withstand this winnowing. The handful of survivors will be limited to those who possess superior DNA. There is no room in this new world for those who do not qualify. A new day will dawn only for the chosen few. Tonight, Ouroboros and I will awaken the best of this world. Everything is on schedule. When the bomber reaches the tr tropopause, the missiles carrying the Ouroboros virus will be deployed. Once released into the atmosphere, the virus will enter the upper troposphere and spread using the wind currents. <laughs> it is then that humanity will receive its final judgment. A virus possesses no emotions, and therein lies its beauty. It will select only choice humans from around the world. The ones who are not chosen will become hosts for Ouroboros, and their existence will consist only of searching for new hosts. Once set in motion, nothing can stop this chain reaction. The din of six billion screams will close the book on humanity's ignoble paths. Oh, Wesker never change. You absolute madman. Awooga, awooga. Alright, it's time. Always wanted to be a captain, but now's not the time. Now, I hate Resident Evil 6, but I do like the fact that Chris can go down like a slide and a seesaw. That's a very funny, that's a very cool easter egg to throw in the game. But don't play Resident Evil 6, that's not worth it. Just don't play it. I'm not going to play it. I'm doing all the games in order. I'm, I'm going to skip Resident Evil 6. It sucks. It's not a good game, and it's not a good Resident Evil game either. It's just, it's just bad. 
Hello? There we go. That's what I wanted to do. Got there eventually. Okay. Hey, gamer. Oh, he got set on fire anyway. Yeah, we want to get rid of as many of these people as possible without uh, heading down there. I just kind of wish things would stop exploding so I can actually focus my headshots. Shepard, please. Also, you have a machine... Oh. Anybody else? I can hear somebody. Let me go over here. I'll take that. I'll take that this time around. Well, I can't see anyone. But they're obviously here. Oh, it's him. Hang on. I don't think I can get him from here. Alright, come on. Move. I'll take that as well. Having the incendiaries on me might be pretty fucking useful. This is the banger track. Do 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 do. Come on, Roger, take it, Roger. Still be ready. Do 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 do. Oh, it's the fight! Let's go! Where's the door? There you go. Really? Wow. Get fucked, I guess. the gamer with the epic shot. Oh, it's this fucking guy. Hey, I got the just got the trophy for it, building up a level of trust with my partner. Very nice. Well, Steam achievements. Could you not do this? Nice oh, right, yeah. This is the fight. Somebody's got a rocket launcher. Yeah, there's, uh, there's Reapers as well. They're incoming. Oh, is he up there? I think I just saw him. Okay, who's ready for some Reaper action? Because this room is uh, pretty brutal, really. Now, before we advance further, 
Let's get rid of these guys. I nearly walked straight into that. That was that was almost terrible. Okay! Oh my god! How many of you fucks are there? Any more? Yeah, that's pretty much all I've wanted to do for ages, that, uh, pick up that. I think it's when I hit this switch that the Reapers show up, actually. I needed those bullets. I'll take that. Do I want proximity bombs? I guess I'll take them. They might be... I don't know whether they're useful against Reapers, though. Don't use it. Nitrogen rounds. Uh, every time. Um, Taking a long way around. Oh, here we go. I think there's two of them. Thank fuck it's a checkpoint. We need to get rid of these guys. Right, that's one. Turns out my shotgun's actually pretty fucking epic at this point. Who knew?
Alright, we've got some JJs en route. I don't know if I've got. <laughs> we just gotta keep waiting. So, Cheva, doing anything this weekend? Daddy, ah. Uh. Sure do. See ya. Missed both of them. Oh, look at this. Don't, don't. Bad fuck. So do you, look at you. Aha! You know, I never, I never realized these. This thing was for these guys. Really? What a mess, but we did it. Okay, he just randomly died. Come on. I don't think he's dead, but... Maybe he is. That was an absolute... I'm taking these. Give me these. Hey! Alright, let's combine them all into one. Actually, actually, actually. Yeah, you take all of them. Thanks, that way if I find handgun browns, I can pick them up. We can grab some heals. Should probably use them immediately, but we can grab them. Come on, Roger. Take it. Okay. You need to be careful. 
Okay, that's one. I know there's a second. What's this guy doing? Well, the other... Don't do it. Fine, fuck. Okay. Right, we can go now. After that mess of a fight, we can finally leave. Wesker fight? God, I hope not. But it probably is. I think this is it. I think this is the is this the airport? Your plans are finished, Wesker. There's no way out this time. Don't you two ever tire of failing in your mission? You've really become quite an ink. I love, I love that as an opening move. Such a quality distraction, and he's just so rad. Performance indeed. This guy's a lot. This may be our only chance. Do it. Here we go. I need a rocket launcher. Actually, I need inventory space. I'll see you dead. Uh, do I have inventory space is the real fucking question. Nope. <laughs> I need inventory space. Let's let's give myself that, eh? Um, I like the fact that she's not even using the machine gun. She didn't even use the machine gun during the... Um, I don't think about it. I don't think she used the machine gun... Oh, wait, yeah. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. You don't need that. You don't need that. I'll take them, though. But to be fair, it doesn't really have that much usage in this fight. Man, it's crazy how... We're, we're low on handgun rounds because I just keep using them to kill everything. But we're now at the point now where there is nothing else. We've already we've killed everything except for Wesker. Um, which means I probably want the Magnum soon. I guess a faster way of doing this fight would probably just be walking into the fight with the rocket launcher already on hand. But 
but I'll do it. I'll do it normally. Um, what can I buy? Oh, the nitrogen rounds. That makes sense. Excuse me. That makes sense. Let's go. Oh, shit! <laughs> That's a jump scare. Yeah! Oh, it's one of them. Is that all you have? No. Yep. Hang on. No point, point in hiding. If we take advantage of the duck, we might actually hit him. You can do this fight very quickly if you can believe it with the infinite rocket launcher. Has it never occurred to you that this planet is overpopulated? Only a handful of humans truly matter. Everyone else. So now, I, and with Uroboros, I can finally accomplish this. Hey. Maybe if I come on my partner to pull the levers. Only those with superior DNA will be chosen by Ouroboros. Only those fit for survival will be allowed to carry their... There we go. Or don't. Thank, thanks, Shiver. Ah, there you are. You're merely postponing the inevitable. I guess the rocket launcher doesn't count towards the inventory. You're finished. Yeah, I didn't think it could hit me from here. Oh, oh, that's annoying. This is where the ammo is. I'll get the rocket launcher. Oh, boy, that's annoying. Okay. Yeah, this is where the infinite rocket launcher just goes so far. No Points in hiding. You okay. Whenever you're ready, Shepard. Let's see. Let's see how she does it. Chris, I need a warhead. Yep, I have it. Okay. What the fuck? The hey, how do I? Work? Chris, I need a warhead. All oh, right, I see. Okay. Let's see what. I... She might fuck up, but it'll be funny if she doesn't. Oh my god, she did it! I'm too far away. I didn't think you were gonna do it.
I love the fact that his weakness is that he can't fight in the dark. It's so random, and it's literally because of his shades. Now here's a quick time event heavy scene, but it's amazing all the same. Wesker just losing his fucking shit. At the end of 6-3. No, it's also part of the same level, okay. Chris. Save it, Wesker. There's no one left to help you now. I don't need anyone else. I have Ouroboros. In less than five minutes, we'll reach the optimal altitude for missile deployment. Ouroboros will be released into the atmosphere, ensuring complete Here we go. Your feeble attempts only delay the inevitable. The entire world will be infected. A new Genesis is at hand. And I will be the creator. I say that every time I wake up. Oh, I don't think I was controlling Shepard. Not again! This is actually- that, is, that entire sequence gets you a lot of deaths in Professional. Ah ha ha! We're here! I need to go to the uh, inventory. This is an iconic boss fight, this one. This is a fucking incredible fight. This fight has it all. Alright, I need to go to my, uh, I actually need to go to, uh, here. Because I want the Magnum now. I've all got a sneak feeling that Wesker's kind of immune to the Magnum at the same time, but... I've just maxed it out.
Oh, I was one away. Okay. Look at that, though. It's nearly maxed out. I can, I think, essentially, when I, uh, if I'm, well, the moment I max it out, I can get the infinite magnum. <laughs> uh, mm, I think now's the time for me to grab all this. Maybe just grab. I don't think the handgun's gonna help at this point. Um. I'll take more shotgun rounds. I feel like the shotgun... Maybe the grenade launcher, actually, might go a long way here. I'll give Shever a heal. I'll give Shever two heals. Um... Maybe grenades? What if grenades would go a long way here? I feel like there's a treasure in that Wesker fight, but I don't know why. There's definitely a tre- in fact, I think there's a treasure- Oh no, the treasure for the first Wesker fight. I think you have to beat him to be able to gain access to it. I think that's the case. I think he leaves something behind. Alright, let's go. I'll just go with this and see what happens. I don't need that. You take Thanks, that. Partner. You'll grab it. Okay. Take it. Roger. Take it. Roger. You grab it. Okay. Alright. That is actually not helpful. His final boss music is amazing as well. The Winds of Madness. I didn't bring any magnum ammo with me. Oh well. Bye. Got him.
Right, now I can go punch the boulder. This time. Damn you! Yeah! Oh, she's got the machine gun. Here we go! Ah, I'm pushing the boulder. I did shoot him. It was just a little too late. All right, so I essentially can't start doing that until. I've, uh... Yeah, for some reason, though, like, she just really doesn't want to use the machine gun, which is kind of strange. So let's take the machine gun away from her. Use the rifle, methinks. Use this. You'll probably use that. I might as well get rid of that. Uh, um... Yeah, you've got five bullets. Yeah, I don't know why she doesn't want to use the um, the machine gun. She's very hesitant to do so. Once we're actually out of the fight, we're good to go. All right, yeah, sure. Bye. Why can't you understand, Chris? Fall back. All right, skip. Chris, get I will, and I turn around. Bye. Look at her using that handgun. She has a literal sniper rifle on her. Right, I need to get... I need to get down here. Because she's gonna be like, Chris, shoot him! In a second. I need to do this part before that happens. Just hold on, Sheva. On. Stop. 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 Can I not quit out of this? Wow. I can't. I can't once you get started on this, you can't. Right. I've learned my mistake. Apparently, you can't exit. That, once you start it. Which is kind of dumb that you can't just not do it and change. It's like, did you press it? Did you press that thing? How dare you? Again, I'm still amazed that she won't use the sniper rifle at this moment and chooses to use the handgun when she's trying to fucking snipe someone. You can't help some people. No, I've got him. Come on, once we get to the actual fight, we're good to go. It's just getting him there, that's the problem. Just 
Just hold on, Sheva. Shoot him. I did. Let me just run over here. Okay, she's good to go. Alright, okay, we should be okay now. Okay, yeah, and then we head back. All right, let's go. All your ideas from comic book villains. All right, we just got to bring him up here, and then we're good to go. She's using the sniper all of a sudden. Pretty sure that there's a shit ton of damage if you're in it. Oh, is it on its front now? Uh oh. Shanna, help me! Shanna, please! I think the crazy strat is a. Uh... Gotta wait. Well, yeah, I got bullied by that, didn't I? I sure do! You know what, Chevy? You're completely right for a change. Got him. Okay, now I use the rifle. Look at me, Wesker! Nearly fired then. Sheva, can you just act like bait for like two fucking seconds instead of running towards me? Oh, he got me. Got him.
There goes a great man. What a quote. What an amazing boss fight. That was for our fallen brothers. Oh, Chris. That's naive Chris right there. Chris is about to get put through the fucking ringer in the next few games. Great game. Love it still. Would play it again. It's just great. It's just fun. <laughs> Resident Evil 4 is harder. Uh, I definitely died a lot more in Resident Evil 4, but arguably that's because I've only completed the game twice, whereas in this game I've completed it several times. So this game is kind of pretty damn easy for me at this stage. Because there's just a lot of things where things can just become easier, such as shooting out all the lights in the, in the first Wesker fight. It's just, it's just so, like, Wesker is the best part of the game, hands down. His, his entire character is incredible. He, he definitely is the, uh, major highlight of the entire game, which is great. It's, uh, it's very similar to Metal Gear Rising, when you get Senator Armstrong, the Senator Armstrong, the best part of the game. It's like that. Wesker's the best part of the game, the build-up to him is amazing, and once he shows up, he just steal, he just keeps stealing the show every 20 seconds, he's a bit, he doesn't even have to say much. He's just cool. He's just cool every every couple of seconds. And he comes with all the best music as well. The hardest level I found was uh was definitely 4-2, the one with the the one with the fire mirror. In fact, like those um those I kept calling them the shaman. Those man Magini where they've got the the uh the staff and stuff, they were they're probably the hardest They're the hardest regular enemy. Um, the hardest mini boss is that crazy. Uh, I don't know what to call it, like pir the piranha plant thing, or the Venus flytrap enemy. That I don't know how many hits that thing takes normally, but just just. Ruben Langdon is Chris Redfield. 
That doesn't seem right. I'm pretty I'm pretty certain Chris is a uh... Is it Chris? Yeah, Chris is Roger Craig Smith. Why does it say that? Oh, is it motion capture? It's Ruben motion capture. Ah, there you go. Dante is Chris, who knew? Um, yeah, the, I'd definitely say chapter four is the hardest chapter in the game. Because once you hit chapter five, you have money, you have ammo, a lot of things start going in your direction. Whereas in chapter four, you're kind of in that period where you you, you just kind of don't really have a lot going on for you. You're not getting the better weapons at that moment in time. You're still using the stuff on the beginning of the game. That, that, that kind of thing. Um... This game has a lot of replayability. Like, a lot of replayability. Finding all the emblems, doing the game faster, locating, buying all, buying all of the action figures, getting all the points, getting all S ranks, getting every single weapon, maxing everything out, all the alternate costumes. There is, there is a lot of replayability. Mercenaries, there's mercenaries mode in this as well. I didn't play with mercenaries though, um, but yeah, there's a, there's so much replayability in this game. It's it's so good, and the co-op is incredible. If you can play this game, I did it single player. I'm very used to doing it single player, and I essentially kept ammo away from Sheva for a long part of the game, so I essentially did it by myself. Um, if you can do this with a, a second person, do it because this game is a this is one of the this is one off, if not the best co-op game. It's just really fucking good. I just like... The, I like the setting a lot. I like the... The fact that you're kind of... It's kind of similar to 5. You're deep in the unknown. Uh, um, and it's got the same kind of build-up. You start off in the village. You go through to the... Uh, you go through the labs. And then you essentially go to the boat, which is the island. And... It's, I mean, obviously this game gets compared to Resident Evil 4. Resident Evil 4 is considered to be the best game of all time. I disagree. I don't think Resident Evil 4 is the best game of all time. I don't even think it's the best Resident Evil, because that, that belongs to 1. I'm just a big fan of 5, because Resident Evil 5 was my very first Resident Evil that I ever did. Um, I did it co-op the first time around as well, with a friend. Did it on Professional after a while. Did Professional everything. So we did Desperate Escape, we did Lost in Nightmares, we did... Which didn't where, where we didn't have any infinite weapon stuff, and we did uh, we did the regular game professional as well. So I've been through I've been through this game so many times, and it to me it just it never gets old. It's just really really good. The level design I love the level design. I love that there's I mean, yeah, there's no puzzles, but oh well, <laughs> it's not it's not needed in an action game, is it? I quite enjoy the fact that you just... Also, I've got to say, the doc I've said this before, but the documents in this game are better than the documents in 4. But they're very long. The documents in this game are very long. They go on for pages upon pages upon pages. But they, they explain a lot of stuff that's going on in the background, which is nice. I quite like the Marshlands. I'd probably say Chapter 3 is one of my favourites because I like how unique the marshlands is where you drive around on the boat and you go to all the individual islands and it's just it's kind of like it it, it comes across as a little bit open worldy at that moment in time it just opens itself up a bit that's quite nice but yeah this game oh god this game is just it's just so good it's just so fun chris has obviously bulked out a lot more but he still has he still has the same personalities that he did on uh did in the first couple um, it's only after this where his personality goes a lot darker and a lot more sour. He's a bit, he's still optimistic in this game. He's, 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 fal he's faltering, but he, he sides with optimism at the end. But he, that, that blatantly just like kicks him in the shins later. Sheva, I hope Sheva comes back at some point. Apparently Barry Byrne was meant to be in this game, crazily enough. But they chose not to put him in the game, which is ridiculous. What we got? An A rank? I did die twice, you know.
Oh, I can play a Sheva. <laughs> oh, look at all this stuff. That's my costumes. Well, I'm not playing anything else today, so I might as well just have a little look around. Now that we've unlocked all this stuff. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah, you have to complete the game on veteran first to get professional. I forgot about that. I got four S ranks. Six emblems. I rescued my party 23 times. I rescued Sheva more than she rescued me. Uh... <laughs> I got saved 33 times. I'm not, I'm not actually... What's at this screen before? The gun turret. Well, yeah... The handgun. The enemies defeated 300. I fired 1,600 bullets. Jesus. How the hell is that? Oh my god. Enemies defeated 87. 72 with the shotgun. Hand to hand. 100 hand to hand kills. Didn't even use. I, didn't, I think I used the grenade launcher once. Accuracy, a hundred percent for the Magnum. <laughs> Ninety-three percent with the rifle. Seventy-two percent with the handgun. That's pretty good. Big man. Huh, Wesker, one. Oh, who did I die to? The Chainsaw of Magini twice, Reaper twice, Irving twice. Oh, guess Wesker didn't count for the times that Sheva died in that fight. Huh. I did die to a crocodile, yeah. Oh my god, 40! Oh my god, these are huge! I've never even checked them. 27, 36. I'm kind of half tempted to read them, but fuck me now, Mark. That's a massive amount. Uh, they're action figures. A new genesis is at hand, and I will be its creator. Bonus features. Oh, I can just buy these. Cool. I think I might have to do the game on veteran for those outfits. The chant. The chant. I think the chant is Dante. Oh no no, it's Johnson. It's a dude called Johnson. Johnson's Dan. Johnson is Dante. Oh, ten ten emblems. Oh, it tells you on there. Yeah. Okay, twenty five and thirty. Okay. Veteran emblems. Uh, emblem, emblems, all chapters, rank S in all chapters, upgrade, these are the, this is, this is infinite ammo, this shit's infinite ammo, I definitely want that, character can be used in verses, I, uh, I definitely want infinite ammo for specifically the magnum, did I actually get anything? <laughs> Did I actually get any money? How much do we need? 6,000, that's annoying. Okay. Oh! 
Oh, is that that's his I think that's his classic outfit. It's a good one. His classic outfit. Safari is pretty good. That's that's pretty cool, but Yeah. I'll put him in Safari. I like I do like his classic outfit. I do like his stars outfit though. Clubbing. Business. Fairy tale. Fairy tale's really cool. Fairy tale's definitely really cool. Put in a business outfit. I can't remember what that is. I'm gonna go through here and go through chapter select. I don't think it matters. Got no emblems, got one out of five, one out of three. I feel like the emblem in that one is in the part where the the elevator is going up and it's spinning. But I don't think it's actually on the spinning elevator part. I think it's when it comes to a grinding halt that the emblem's there. Eight hours and 25 minutes. Whew. Well, I think that's it for me. Um... Oh, I'm guessing it's this uh, Desperate Escape versus Lost in Nightmares, Desperate. I might do I might do these two at some point, but pro but not yet. I'll probably do them. I'll probably do them a lot, or much much later. But yeah, I think that's it for me today. So if you're watching Resident Evil Five, thanks for watching. We killed Wesker. GG. Um, Echo the Dolphin on Saturday because I'm out on Friday. Not looking forward to it, but I'm going to give it a good old college try and see what happens. And we'll go from there. So yeah, thanks for watching. See you later.